put some volume on that one, KD. Hey! Happy Thursday! Welcome to lunch at the loft. How's everybody doing? You've been waiting, haven't you? I know. They've been we waiting been patiently. We, been, we did better this week. Is this gonna work? Ah! Damn, like that. Hey! In the movie! What's up, y'all? I don't look back. I need to. Hmm. Hey, Periscope peeps, share this broadcast. Hmm. If you're just hmm. tuning in, make sure What's you up? are sharing. Hey! What's up, everybody? Another way of Hello! All right, we got action. We got some action now? Yeah. Hey, I like that hey. angle. I like that angle. Hello, happy Thursday, Periscope peeps. Mm. We are this getting warmed way. up. Make sure you invite your followers. Hey, All you got to do is hit the little guy at the bottom of the screen. Share this hey. broadcast. Oh. Lunch at the Loft is live. There we go. Hey, there you go. I got y'all back. I'm grown woman. What y'all doing? What y'all eating? How about that? Whatever it is. We got our lunch <laughs> on deck. Grown. Lunch at the loft. Daddy, daddy. Grown. Make sure you are inviting your peeps. Hit the little guy at the bottom of the screen to share the broadcast. Y'all sharing it? Thank you. Appreciate you. Happy Thursday, everybody. Oh, welcome, right. welcome, and welcome to this week's edition of Lunch, Lunch at, at the Loft. Loft. I'm LB. And I am KD. And we, we are, are excited. Super excited. We're excited to be here. Closer Absolutely. to being on time this week. Yes! We hope we didn't keep you waiting too long because we know that you all are literally like tuned in at your desk. What my cubicle In the you? car. If you are in your cube, holler. What's up? Yes. So Who's we want to make sure we stay on our time schedule because we know that you are on your time schedule. Absolutely. Thank you so, so much. So this is Lunch at the Loft, our brand new Periscope show. This is our second episode. Second I'm episode. excited. If you did not catch last week's episode where, like, what, what, what where were you what happened? you can definitely catch the replay but last week Three we things. talked about quitting your job how to quit, quit your job your but don't stop working because Ooh, we're not say saying again. you can be lazy say that again. You, you quit your job but don't stop working you and definitely it's not working it's work work you definitely have to be willing to do what it takes to live the life that you love Absolutely. and so even if you break free from your cubicle or your job or your paycheck or whatever what you still are going to have to do some work so definitely go back and hit the replay so you can catch last week's episode Absolutely. where can i catch the replay Is it catch? the singlewivesclub.com you can catch mm -hmm. it there youtube um but if you go to the singlewivesclub.com i added a tab l-a-t-l -L, lunch at the loft you can catch it at the top Just hashtag click. hashtag Yes, and we definitely want you sharing this broadcast. So yes. if we say anything that you think is awesome, which I'm sure we will, if you have an aha moment or just something worth sharing, please share it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, spread the word, share the love that your peeps need to be tuned in to Lunch at the Loft each and every Thursday at 12 noon Eastern. Yes. So before we get into today's show, because we have a very exciting topic. Well, it's not very exciting, but it's very necessary. So. Yeah. It's very necessary to talk about for today. But before we do that, I want to start off with some announcements. Okay. So mm -hmm. as you can tell, y'all notice the hair is different, right? Well, I'm not LBs, but my hair is a little different because how come? How this come? is my workout hair, right? It's my workout hair. You know, the short hair doesn't really do well in the gym. Shout out to short hair. Don't care. Sisters out there, you know it's a, it's a struggle. But I am super duper excited to be preparing for my work one-on-one book tour. Woo! Did you hear super that? Super excited. Yes, I'm yes. super duper excited. But that means I got to get my shit together, right? So this is part of me getting my shit together, hitting the gym, smoothies on deck, mm -hmm. so that when you catch me in a city near you, that thing is going to be tight baby okay snatched, snatched. <laughs> no waste no waste gang all of that um but i'm definitely excited to kick off the tour next month february 10th write this down where where are we going february 10th in the big apple 
NYC. Now I am a little scared about the weather. I'm a little nervous. It's a frigid. I'm a little nervous, but I don't want it's that to stop you. Cause y'all are used to it. My NYC ladies, like you're used to that weather. You're used to, <laughs> you are used to catching the subway in the snow. So you can definitely right. meet me there. NYC, LB and I, the whole dream team actually is gonna be there. <laughs> yes. The entire dream team will be in so New York, February 10th. Work101.com is where you can get all the updates and find out every city that LB and I will be coming to. And while you are online, definitely log on to wifemindedwomen.com. Yes. LB, well, tell them why, please. Okay, let me tell you something. First of all, where are my wife-minded women? Can I get some love? Can I see some hearts? Where are my wife-minded women? Regardless if you are married or not, you're still a wife-minded woman. Hello. You are preparing for marriage. You have to go onto this website because first of all, it's gonna tell you about all the amazing things that we are doing to help you get ready for Mr. Hello. Right. We're gonna help you to become a better woman by getting you educated on what it really takes to understand love, self-love, his love, our love. What about business? What about getting your finances together, your health together, fitness? There is right. an upgrade this year at wifemindedwomen.com called the Leading Ladies League. Did you hear that? The Leading Ladies League. And it's so exciting because I'm one of those leading ladies. Hello. And so if you're an aspiring author, not only do you get one-on-one -on -one with LB. Hello. <laughs> You do. You get Priceless. coaching. We know you get coaching Priceless. with LB if you want to be an aspiring author, but also you get your fitness. We have Boom Shock doing fitness. We have, uh, oh my God, so smart many. Smart Money smart League. Smart Money, everything. That's the one. I'm in a Smart Money League. All like, of this is to help you prepare to for the yes. life that you truly want, the love that you truly want. So go to wifemindedwomen.com. Um, look at all of the amazing things that we're offering. Not only lifestyle coaching, but also lifestyle hey coaching. Hey now. Did you have your first Yes, I did my first lifestyle ah, lesson yesterday. Tell me about it. Super tell me about excited. It. So I shared eight healthy healthy habits that will help you to live a life that you love. My whole thing has been, you know, I'm all about self-development. Y'all have heard Always. me say it one time. You're probably going to hear me say it a million times, but I truly believe that self-development is the seed of success. Mm. Like you have to be willing to develop yourself you in all areas of your life. You can't just say, I want a man and the rest of your life is messed up and you think it's going to come together. That's you true. can't just have your finances together and everything else in your life is messed up and mm -hmm. you think it's going to come together. You literally have to spend time sowing seeds in every area of your that's life. It. And so each month I am super excited to share a lifestyle lesson that's really going to help you to develop yourself in all areas of your life so mm -hmm. that you can live a healthy, wealthy, happy lifestyle. That's, That's what the Wife Minded Women program is all about. Yes. Health, wealth, and happiness. And so yesterday I shared eight healthy habits that have really, really impacted my life and helped me to get my mind right. And get her grown woman-ish together. Get my grown woman-ish mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you are a single woman, that means you're not married. You might be in a relationship. You might have a bang. No you might even have a ring on it. But if you have one ring and not two, meaning you're engaged <laughs> and not married, then you definitely can take advantage of the Wife Minded Women program. So log on, wifemindedwomen.com. Right Check now. that out. And membership ends January 31st. Key. The clock is ticking. Major key. Major key alert. Yeah. The clock is ticking on that. So definitely log on, wifemindedwomen.com. So we got to get into the juice. Real quick, girl. What we got going right on? Right into quick. the juice. We know that the Oscars. <sighs> Yeah. are um, stirring up a little juice this week. Um, many things are going on with the Oscars, okay? So number one, shout out to Taraji. Shout out to Cookie Lion um, on one hand. On one hand, I want to shout out to Cookie. On the other hand, I was a little... So you got you got to fill me in because the latest... So Cookie Lion, okay. Taraji. I love Taraji, y'all. Like baby boy... That my husband. I love Taraji, right? Mm -hmm. So Taraji is the home girl. She's everybody home girl. That's mm -hmm. what that's her personality. That's who she is. Yeah. So she wins this Oscar for Cookie Lion, right? The um the ex con yeah. drug yeah, yeah, dealing. Yeah, yeah. And so number one, when she gets up to accept the speech, she hands out cookies. Which I was thinking, this is the Oscar. But anyway, so she hands out cookies, right? She's passing out cookies on her way to the stage. Then she does this outrageous Oscars acceptance speech now everybody loved it i love taraji however oh that was the golden globes oh shit. i was gonna say i was I, you know i was wondering i was like they had the oscars already but they, they boycotting the oscars i, I was, was gonna joking. get there i was gonna get there Elvie was gonna correct me. i was but listen to, but i had to wait so she passes out the cookies she does this outrageous speech which a lot of people okay. say you know i love you taraji you my girl for this speech i thought it was a bit much However, tell me about the speech, just a snippet. Like, because so I remember what she happening. basically says that she's surprised that she won for this role versus all of the other roles that she's played. You know, she wins for the ex con drug dealing, mm -hmm. you know, which just like um, okay. Hallie, 
Look at Holly Berry and look at um, Denzel, Denzel Washington. The one time of the he's rose. crooked, that's when you went, really? Yeah. You know, but so it's all of this racist undertone stuff. Mm. But since this, you know, um, Jada has come out saying that she she wants to boycott. Yeah. Snoop Dogg is hilarious. If you have not seen Snoop Dogg's video talking about boycotting, it's hilarious. You got to go catch it. it. <laughs> um, but how do you feel about that? I mean, and then Stacey Dash. We know oh, Stacey Dash wow. has a child, man. Yeah. I'll sip on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, this is the thing. There was literally not one, one, like one black person that was nominated that was, to my understanding, am I wrong? Am I right? Tell me. Not one. And so it's just like at this point, this is 2016. Like seriously, like there were so many amazing movies that came out last year. Of course, I wouldn't expect. Straight out of Compton. I wouldn't expect Straight out of Compton to make it to I the would. Oscars. But let me I tell you, it. It, it was that amazing. Every it was good. second. Um, Creed. And then what was the movie that uh, Will Smith starred in? And, and I think he said that's one of the reasons why Jada's speaking so strongly oh, because yeah, his performance was exceptional thing. and he wasn't that's even nominated. For her so I, I just feel like... And then the movies that were, it's like, I've never even heard of them. Like, that's always what? the case. The ones who, who do win. And so I don't know. And so now they're trying to push what? Give Concussion. Y'all are you. with it. Thank you. I appreciate you. I just you. watched that last night. I yes, Concussion. It but I that heard was it was good. good. It was um, good. And they're trying to get Chris Rock to step down as the host. And so I don't know. It's just so many mixed feelings about what to do are y'all gonna watch it so then listen so it? after jada does this video yeah. did you see <laughs> the dark skin on viv on viv went in come on and then on viv went in in like a, a little one bedroom like, but she was like she was and then she places. put that filter over herself that made her like a cartoon it was like so strange it was so strange you yeah. were you were definitely reaching so yeah um, but yeah you know <laughs> Whatever. I I, I'm here for people standing up for something, though. I will say that. Like, I'm here for you stand taking for a stand. For exactly. Like, you have yeah. to believe in something. Whatever that is, I definitely know. So, what you believe in? Are yeah. you going to watch? Are, Are you, you going to watch? In? I don't know. Or no. Or no. <laughs> I don't or know. no. Um, and then Stacey Dash, real quick. Oh, yeah. She needs to go somewhere well, with Raven Republican. Simone. She's a Republican. Her and Raven Simone and need to go their own island. Like, we don't want you no Get more. Get rid of BPT. You we are the weakest black, we don't link. Need black History Month anymore. Goodbye. Did y'all hear that? No, black, said, history no month, black, black History Month. No BET. No BET. And I'm like, wait like, a minute. What? Because it's reverse racism or something. Because if if there was a, a white entertainment television there is. network, we, every network, what do you mean? Every, every other TV, one. Every, every then, we would have, right. then we would have a problem. Uh, I'm anyway. not here for it. And my thing is, have those conversations in your house when when the, when all the, the other black people in the world don't have to hear about it, kitchen right? Table conversation. Have that, keep that shit at the at the hair salon or something. And then here's another hair salon conversation. What? So we know what what's the major rumor? Now y'all know Will and Jada love Jada is like, oh. but the big rumor about Will and Jada she forever, forever. Oh, that they're swingers. That they have an open relationship, yeah. right? That's like a known. Y'all heard that too. Thing. So Monique recently um, spoke out because Monique, now Will and Jada have never said anything yeah, about this they open never relationship. Confirmed it. Monique has confirmed her open marriage. And Monique, she, Monique, the, the uh, yes, yes, really? yes, yes, yes. So her, her stance is, and she did an interview about it um, recently, but her, her thing is when all of these other couples, you know, Will and Jada, Angelina and uh, Brad Pitt, mm -hmm. whoever they mm -hmm. say are swingers or have an open relationship, if they're two attractive people, it's never it's okay. really... It's okay. Right, it's okay. But when you see Monique What's and this fine with? husband... She said he was fine. I don't really know. But <laughs> when you see Monique and this fine husband, she said that people always assume that she's getting taken advantage of. That mm, she is that losing she out. That she's just settling for a man who, you know, doesn't really want her, wants everybody else. But she's, what she said is that the open marriage was her, her idea. That she was actually dating somebody else at the same it. time. I can't get with it. And she wanted to still date this guy and be married. And her husband was with it. Next conversation. So what say you? Uh, no, I ain't no say Wife you. Coach. It's not even a conversation. It's not open. It's closed. Closed. Like, like closed. closed. All right. <laughs> All right. Next conversation. All right. Well, this is my last little piece of juice. So, Bron Bron is um, hitting the reality TV scene. I don't know how I feel about it. Who that is? LeBron James. Oh. Bron Bron. Oh, on. with the, the, oh, with the um, Chicago inner city like entrepreneurs or something like that? No, I think it's Cleveland. It's his show. It's like his, Oh, yes. that was another one they were talking about too. No, this mm -hmm. is definitely Anybody like heard his. about it? Yeah, I don't know if I'm, if I'm like not, if I'm not, I don't think I'm here for it. I think that there's some people who need to just not do reality TV. Let me give you a good example who? of somebody who does not need to do reality TV. Kim, is it, um... Sinclair. 
Not Sinclair. Oh, oh Regine. 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 Let me say. Have y'all seen her on the real? Oh man. It's not even a good fit. It's so they bad. They're really looking for somebody. Listen, like, guys. Struggling. Did you really need Kim, that? Kim Field, Field. Yes. Did you really yeah. need that check? I mean, did you I don't really think so. need that check? I, I think because I feel like this is messing up your. I, like you should. Yeah, I just wanted you to be regime. Right, yeah, yeah. Go back to for being the rest regime of my life. And like a lot of men. Now I do. Now listen. I do like her. Like, I like how she's trying to be the happy wife, happy mom work. thing, but it does not work. And I think it's making her look Yeah, bad. she's going to have to come out of her shit. Yeah, it's making her yeah. look bad. And she's not dramatic enough. Like, I don't know why she would have signed up for this. This is not for kids. Right, it just doesn't seem like why would they do she this? knew what she was getting herself into. <laughs> I'm, I'm not here for it. But it's some certain people that you just want to keep up here. You know, yeah. Lala is probably the only person that I actually like more after yeah. her reality show. Most people... I'm over you once you put on reality TV. So we'll see how that is. Let's see. But I'm ready um, for today. Y'all ready for today's topic? Let's get into so, it. So today we I'm are so talking about keeping your space safe. What do you think about when you think about keeping your space safe? Now this came out of us talking about quitting your day job. Yes. And how a lot of people when you were streaming talked about how you were around a lot of negativity, a lot of negative people. And what I realized that since I've stepped out on faith and I've, I've walked, my circle has changed. It's done that. Like when I say my, and you know how you have those friends that you just know are going to be with you to the end of time? They not. Like friends that I was in <laughs> middle school happy. with, you know, that loyalty you have. Like sometimes when it's something about taking a step or a leap of faith and walk in a different journey, your destiny, that makes people look at you differently. They either get jealous, supportive, envious, inspired. And so I noticed that my circle has definitely changed. And so I appreciate who God has brought in my life and who he's removed from my life. It took a while for me to appreciate it, but I get it. And now I do hold that sacred. Absolutely. And, and I truly, truly believe that you have to lose a few other people sometimes in order to find yourself mm. like you have to get rid of the dead weight mm. you have to get rid of the people who you know don't have your best interests at heart now some of us are still in relationships not necessarily romantic relationships but yeah. friendships yeah. with people who we know are not you know here for yes. us some of y'all are still hanging out with homegirls that are nothing but haters and you know they're nothing but haters but you think that they hate on everybody else and they wouldn't dare hate on you it's that's not how it works like the the crazy thing for me when i was teaching i remember thinking like these women are catty mm -hmm. they're messy this is like high school Bitter. It's, it was like high school on steroids. We were all older, but we weren't any... Well, I, I was because I wasn't here for it. But I'm like the youngest teacher on yeah. the staff, and I'm the one that's like, right. I don't want to sit here... And, right, I don't want to talk about people with y'all. I don't want to sit here and gossip. I don't want to be a part yeah. of that. And so if you don't work on evolving, mm -hmm. you will get caught up in that mess, especially at yeah. work. Yeah. That is like the number one place to get yes. caught up with negative Nancy. Why? Nancy. Because she's not happy. Most yeah. people... Who are working jobs are unfulfilling happy, jobs are not happy so do they have anything happy to talk about no never. no do they have anything to look forward to no mm -hmm. after an amazing weekend we'll come to work on monday mad mad instead of talking hey, about how mad. amazing our weekend was all the great things we did we're complaining about the week ahead exactly. you know now we're complaining about something new and so i just remember all of those unhappy mm -hmm. people and that shit like rubbing off on me. Absolutely. I mean, you. Well, you gotta think about it. Whoever you are around the most. What do they say? The five people that you are around. You the are most, the sum. You're of the, the sum yep, of, of your those five, five people. people. So if you're around, and I had a lot of negative teachers, unfortunately, because again, they were unhappy. To this day, they're still teaching, looking for a way out. They know mm -hmm. that there's something else for them, and so I had to be more conscious and more aware, more intentional about protecting what was entering in my ear gates. Yeah. You remember that in church when they say protect your ear gates. Like, I had to really protect that because just looking at people in a different way. Like, she was negative for no reason. Just everything was Most negative. Most people are. Yeah. Everything was always seeing the glass half full. Like, why she got to do that? I'm just always, like, always doing this. You always lose it. Like, something's yeah. always going wrong. So, it always goes back to you. Always goes back to you. And the, the one situation in my life that really drove this home for me was my engagement. I was engaged to a crazy person who wanted to be mad because today's Thursday. Mm. You know, like I woke up in the sun. The sun got the nerve to be out again 
oh no, we're going to have a bad day. Yeah. And so when seeing that firsthand and seeing how no matter what you do, no matter what goes on, you still going to have something to complain about. You still just want to find a reason to be mad. Seeing that firsthand and, and being intimate with yeah. someone and yeah. seeing that firsthand just show me mm -hmm. that, you know, negative people, they're like cancer. Yeah. Like they will literally mm -hmm. just suck everything it. out of you. Yes. And no matter who you think you are, no matter how strong you think you are, eventually it's going to start to wear on you. Absolutely. And especially if these are your homegirls, the mm -hmm. friends like from middle school mm -hmm. that you've always been around those that are comfortable, yes. the ones that are comfortable really being negative with you, you know those friends. Yeah. This might be your cousin, your, it might be your favorite cousin. Whoever you are closest to in your life, those are usually the people who are comfortable with being yeah. negative with us. Yeah. You know, when you go out and get a new friend, you don't want to be the negative Nancy. Mm -hmm. But when it's your homegirl from way back mm -hmm. when, you are very comfortable being negative, gossiping. Yeah. Like, you get on the phone with all of your girls and you have nothing good to say. And so if you have people in your life that are like that, the ones who you don't even want to answer the phone when they call, you're like, ugh. <laughs> if you, you know have that are. feeling, Double tap you don't need to answer. Before. Double tap. Double. You Double already tap. know. There they go. Exactly. You already <laughs> but this is the know. Thing I, this is what I realized. When you decide to get on your, your journey of self-discovery and realize that you want better things in life, that you want to be more positive. Because I wasn't always the positive person that you see. I, I know you can't believe that. I'm a Gemini. Can't believe it. I'm Kia and Luck Kia. Yeah. And so when I decided to make my life positive, what I realized is that my friends, who were still negative in some cases, they stopped wanting to be around me. Cause like, oh, you always fire though. You exactly. always positive. And I'm like, it's like, like it gets annoying. Like, They're mad. mad. Exactly. But I think it started putting a mirror in their face and they start to see like, mm -hmm. wait a minute, maybe I am being a little too, you know, uptight or I'm always looking at things in a negative way. I had a friend that said, you were always positive. Nothing ever wrong with you. I'm like, no, that's not true. I just handle it differently. Right. Someone actually said to me, my, I changed the way I, I, I spoke. I changed the way I think. When I got out of this relationship, it became very, very evident and clear to me that what you put into your mind is yeah. what's going to come out. So what you listen to, what you say to yourself, what you, what someone else, all of that stuff gonna comes come. seeping out. Absolutely. And so you have to be very, very intentional yes, about do. what you are speaking. So one thing that I tried, and you can try this too, anytime somebody asks me how I'm doing, Instead of just saying good, instead of saying all right, I'm all right. Mm -hmm. I'm it's wonderful. Training. It's training. I'm wonderful. Yes. Every single time. And one person actually, oh, you wonderful every day. <laughs> yep. I don't have nothing to complain about. I'm I have nothing you. to complain yeah. about. And there is not a question that you could ask me that's going to get me to complain. Because that's just not, it, it, it takes your energy mm -hmm. away. It, it does, does nothing to add anything to your life. One, I guess the best compliment they gave me at school when I was teaching was that I was, if Mr. Rogers, remember Mr. Rogers? <laughs> if Mr. Rogers had a wife, it would be I would you. be Mrs. Rogers. Because I was and they were annoyed by that. Annoyed. Because I was literally working at Joe Clark School. Like, Welcome to the Jungle was playing as I was walking down the hallway. That's how crazy it was in middle school. Anybody know anything about McNair Middle School? McNasty. Anyway, <laughs> I would, nothing would bother me. I would, it's like, they, one of my co-teachers was like, it's as if rainbows and birds are in your classroom, and then you go to the next room, and they fighting and cousin and all that. I just created a different environment. I didn't like the way that negative energy felt. And like you said, it was a toll. I used to take that home to my husband. Like that energy, that same mad, frustrated energy home to him. And I'm disrupting my household because of what's going on at work. Oh, no, ma'am. That it had to happen. stop. So I had to be intentional. Like you said, being aware of who I was around during my um my break or my, my planning right. period. I, alone. Hey, I was alone. I, I didn't go into the teacher's lounge. <laughs> nope. I locked my room door, turned my light off, and I started writing my book. That's literally what happened to me. Yep. Because it was just, the energy was just crazy. So Bad, well, I was going to say bad energy is contagious, but all energy, all energy is, is contagious. contagious. So, so, yeah, if you're positive and smiling, they're going to be mad at you. So then even you're going, going to be to, rubbing off on them and they don't want to be happy. So how do you deal with it? How do you deal with a friend that you were so close with for so many years and then they start seeing this evolution of who you are as a woman and they don't want to be around you or they, the, the relationship changes. How do you deal with that? Elevation requires separation. Woo! And everybody right. can't go that, where I'm going. Right. Everybody can't wait, 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 go. Wait, you just gave two points. Wait a minute. Elevation requires what? Separation. Can y'all write that down, please? Tweet it. That's a tweet. Bye-bye. Exactly. Bye, Felicia. You don't <laughs> deal. This is, this is how you deal with somebody like that.
you don't deal with somebody oh like my that. Goodness, that's anybody real. who is not on your team because you're either for me or against me you, it. it's no gray area that's there's it. i don't allow gray area in my life yeah. you are either helping or you're hurting like it's it's no in between it's yeah. real cut and dry mm -hmm. so if you have decided that you are hurting yes holla I can't do anything with you. Like, I literally cannot do anything the with you. The more you go up, the more you'll see. They say it's lonely at the top, and I don't think it's lonely at the top. I just think yeah. it just depends on who you're who you take with. with. Right. And you said everybody can't If you're dragging can go. folks yeah. with you, then yeah, you're going to have a If y'all are helping each time. other get there, then it's fine. But like you said, everybody can't go where you are. I literally have lost college buddies, like best buds. We were roommates. Like, we no longer speak. Why? Because they were only meant to be for Why? a chapter. They and can't. reason for a season. Yeah, that exactly. Stuff that, that stuff is really real. Those it's are true. not just catchphrases. Like the people who yeah. are meant to be in your life will be in your life. And the thing is, you can't force it. Mm -mm. You cannot force them to be happy. I you will literally to. drain yourself yeah. trying to get them together. Right. Now, people can change. Absolutely. I don't believe, you know, you should just burn a bridge not with your bestie. Right, but right, right, I right. have friends who I still consider my friends yeah. who are negative who are not doing mm -hmm. anything with their lives. They're not ambitious. They love think I'm crazy distance. for dreaming so big. Love them from and these are people that I'm probably going to love for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I've known them forever. Absolutely. However, you have to limit. You, you, don't, get, you don't have that much access mm -hmm. to me. Like, you can't just pick up your phone and call me. And, and nobody really can call me because I don't really answer the phone. <laughs> really but I don't allow people to get that close to me when they, <laughs> when they are not here for the right reason. That's or true. when they want to, you know, harp on the negative stuff. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. We could be coming up with a solution while we're sitting here complaining about it. You know, like, I don't want to talk about the problem. Yeah. I want to talk about solution the solution. Be solution-oriented. So Absolutely. you got to really check your circle. So let's check your circle. Let's give them some takeaways. Check your circle. Check your circle. This could be at work. You know, if you need to, most, like LB said, likely. if you need to put your headphones on. I have a friend who puts her headphones on during her lunch break. Nothing is planned. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't want anybody mm -hmm. coming past her cubicle mm -hmm. talking that shit. Like, whatever you exactly. have to do to protect your space. Protect, protect your, your space. All of this. Yes. So, whether you're at work, whether this is... That's the other thing. Now, this <laughs> is a show topic. Spoon. She said, feed them with a long-handed spoon. Yes, I like, like that. that. <laughs> now, this is another topic for another day. However, the negative people that you might need to get rid of might even be your mother. Oh. And we're going to talk about mama issues on another show. However... For a lot of black women, unfortunately, and I'm only saying this because I don't have a whole lot of white friends, but for a lot of black women, <laughs> we have the mom who got so much shit to say. Like, she got so God, much, so much stuff to say, and that can wear on you. So if you got those mommy issues, make sure you're We're staying tuned in because we are going to talk about that. Yeah. But your relationships, your friendships Absolutely. at work, you need to check your space in all areas of your life because it will literally hold you back from success. It like, will. literally. Yeah. And then also do some self-evaluation. Like as soon as something happens, I was talking about this last night on Wifestyle Wednesdays. As soon as something happens to you, how do you react to it? Mm -hmm. Do you automatically think something negative? Like for me as a wife, if my husband is say running a few minutes late, just a few minutes late, not an hour, not two hours, a few minutes late, do I automatically think the negative? Oh, he, he must be uh, in an accident or he over somebody house or where he don't, you know, what do you think? Why are your thoughts automatically going to that? So you may have to do some cleaning, some self-cleansing, figuring out, okay, am I still having trust issues? Do I not believe? Do I not have faith? So I think you have to do that in order to realize once you're protecting your space, if the people you're surrounding yourself with, if they're not having that same consciousness and awareness of how they're acting and what they're speaking, that's when you start making that, like you said, the long-headed spoon and things like that and making those decisions to push those people away. And automatically, sometimes it happens. You don't have to do it. Oh, they the just fall off. Just, yeah. Especially if you pray amazing. about it. If you pray to to re release the people who are not for you, they will start dropping like flies. I and mean, literally. You literally, you will be looking like, wait a minute, what <laughs> happened to such and such? They might not even answer when you call them because that's how that's how crazy God is. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't mm -hmm. want this person, I'm going mm -hmm. to literally remove them from your life. Absolutely. And so the last thing that I just want to leave you all with is do not believe the hype. Mm. Being a mean girl will not get you anywhere. Like that is that was for high school. If you missed out on your mean girl days, it's not the time to try to relive them now. <laughs> like if you were the one that got bullied in high school and now you want to be the mean girl, you missed that boat. It is not it won't get you, you anywhere. Were you a mean girl? I was college. I was a mean girl in college. Wow. But I shook it. I wow. shook it real fast. No judgment. Yeah, I was I was definitely I was a sorority girl. I was a mean and sorority see, that's girl why in college. Me. I was. I can't even lie. That's true. But you have to that. be aware of who you are. Yeah. And you have to take active steps to to correct it. So even if you are <laughs> the mean girl right now, guess what? 
You don't have to stay the mean girl. You. When you start realizing that that shit is not cute, that no man wants to be with the oh, mean yeah. girl. See, we, we're going back to being hello. a wife-minded woman. Yes, That's being a wife-minded woman. You cannot Wrong be, woman yeah, wifemindedwomen.com. You cannot be a mean girl and, and be a get wife. a man. Mm -mm. You might get you might a, be, but you ain't going to be able to keep You might be a married woman, but you're not a wife. Hello. So just keep that. I like that. I like that. Don't believe the hype. That mean, I'm a mean girl. Yeah. It's not going to get you anywhere. Like but all of that energy, got. find something better to do with it. You could be quitting your job. Use that energy to quit your job. Go Man, back and replay last Man, week him. and use that energy wisely. There you go. LB, you got any final thoughts? They got to get back to work. They do. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I just want y'all to remember to protect what's yours. The space that you have, you need to protect it as if it's your house, as if it's your temple. Um, and truly start making decisions moving forward. Analyzing the people that are around you, okay? Especially, I think in your workbook, you talk about that too, yes, right? Yes, So, oh, we'll talk about that soon. But anyway, make sure you just start thinking about the people who are around you, who you're surrounding yourself with, and start making some decisions to either eliminate, pray about them, and move forward. Elevation requires separation, and everybody can't go. See y'all next week. Bye.